Riyadh, I mean, I was reading the statement that the uh, Saudis put out, uh, glowing language used to describe Trump and his administration. Does this actually mark a turning point? Well, as you say, the language is extremely glowing, very different to the uh, tone that you had when you, had st you still had the Obama administration. Right. And, and I think it reflects sort of a sense of relief that you have in Saudi Arabia and maybe the wider Gulf uh, on having a new administration that they feel at least understands their concerns a bit more. And if you go through the state, some statement, it hits all the sore points, mm. at least, that the uh, Saudis felt that they had with the Obama administration. You know, they feel that Trump will be stronger on Iran. Uh, they re reference the Muslim Brotherhood, so that's still percolating, you know, describing them as terrorists. Uh, and uh, and and they, they also reference the issue of the Muslim ban and go right. out of their way to say that they do not feel that this is a ban on all Muslims or an attack against Islam. Uh, but more a internal matter of uh, maintaining s internal security. Mm. Yeah, Riyadh, and you bring up a good point, uh, those sore points with the Obama administration, including Iran, as you mentioned. What exactly did they say about the nuclear deal? Well, they, they pointed out that they... They, they repeated their previous position, which is that they think that the nuclear deal as it is now is, uh, is, is not um, something that they think will, will maintain peace in the region, that it's dangerous. And they mentioned the Ira Iranian, they were happy that uh, President Trump uh, agreed with them on Iran's expansionist, they call it expansionist moves uh, in the region. Um, so very much, uh, you know, again, the, there's this meeting of minds between Trump and the Saudi Arabia uh, on the issue of the Iran deal, which they never thought was a great deal. And Trump, obviously, throughout his election campaign, made clear that he didn't agree with. All right, Riyadh, you are staying with us, but I want to bring in our guest for this segment. It is Ganam Nuseba. He is director and partner at Cornerstone Global Associates. Thanks so much for joining Thank us you. today. Um, you know, we've been talking about the language that the Saudis are using to describe Trump, saying that he's a true friend of Muslims. They even kind of lent support to his wall idea by yes. bringing up a wall that they built to the north of the yes. country. What exactly are the Saudis hoping to get out of the U.S. here? Well, I mean, uh, as, as Riyadh said, um, many people in the region are happy to see Obama's back. Trump is a new beginning. Mm. It's still too early to say where, which direction it's going to take. But so far, many of the signs are are. are more positive than negative. Yes, there are issues that need to be sorted out. Right. Um, but but overall, I think the relations are positive. They're looking more positive than they were during the Obama administration. The important thing is uh, is Trump's um, 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 uh, stance on Iran. Uh, the Saudis and the rest of the Gulf, as Riyadh said, um, have um, uh, this particular issue as the number one priority, as well as, 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 for example, dealing with Islamist extremists rather than Muslims, banning the Muslim Brotherhood mm. and other extremist groups and going to fights against ISIS, Daesh, and so on. Um, but that, sh that fight would should not um, affect the, the, the overwhelming majority of Muslims in the Arab world or the US. Mm. So linked, things obviously uh, look positive. There has to be a lot of overlap between Trump and, and the US um, Arab allies. Right. And, that, um, and, and that continuous dialogue, I think, is very important to ensure that the relationships not only stay where they are, but hopefully improve. So, Ghanem, I noticed that in the statement there was really only one line about the economic policy because that was part of the conversation, and that's very much what uh, the Deputy Crown Prince is, is about, the transformation, economic uh, transformation uh, of the kingdom. Uh, where do you see the opportunities now uh, for American companies, uh, either with Saudi investment coming into the U.S. or American companies investing uh, in Saudi Arabia that maybe before you know, wasn't there? Uh, I mean, opening up of the Tadawal uh, to foreign investors, I think, is a, is a key thing. There has mm. to be a lot of reforms in terms of opening up to increase the attractiveness of the Saudi stock market to uh, American and other foreign investors. Um, and I think, I think the Saudi government is working um, on that. Um, Aramco's uh, um, um, IPO, uh, potential investments in that field, as well as other fields, the Saudi market is a huge market, potentially, not only in oil, but in terms of industries, in terms of other sectors. And one 
once that opens up, there will be a lot of opportunities for the Americans to invest in Saudis. And, and naturally, the Saudis um, have um, a lot of investments, U.S. investors, whether it's, it's, it's bonds or whether it's, mm. it's real investments in the, in, in the U.S. market. So it is, a, it, it is potentially a, a mutual um, a benefit for both the Americans and the Saudis.